Semalam samaham usahamat utai spiritu santo amin Pabiling sepat tinggung o gunga natin ang puun Ang pengajian sa matag adlaw Ang tanan giniin Diyos Suduma kami sa imong mga mata na mapu angurun Imong gipurungkurungan sa himaya nga diri matapos Ang imong sulugun nga si Lorenzo Rui Tungod sa iyang mga pangaliya Hatagi kami sa grasya ng among dipangayo, pinaagi nining nubinahan. Ugtabangi kami sa pagpuyo ng matilud-anon sa among pagtuong kristuhanon. Aron maangkon namo ang himayang walay katapusan dito sa langit. Kini among dipangayo, pinaagi ni Su Kristo imong anak, nga buhi og hari uban kanimo og sa Espiritu Santo Dios nga usa hangtod sa kahangturan amen palihog manglingkod og pamatiw nato ang kasaysayan sa kinabuhi ni San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila adig atong pamalandong sa pitsa 28 sa Pebrero tuig 1981 sa Manila ang Santo Papa Juan Pablo II sulod sa sulimni nga misa dito sa Lunita Park sa tubangan sa libu-libu kam nga Pilipino iyang gideklarar nga bulahan si Lorenzo Ruiz o iyang makauban ingon nga mga martir Usa kini kay gayon nga talagsaon gayon sangit ang nabatasan gayon mao nga ang pagsaulog sa mga seremonya nga sama ni ini kanunay ipahigayon dito sa Roma o dili sa gawas ni ini apan ini higayuna gimbutan sa Santo Papa ng maong okasyon sa pagsaulog ni ini dinhi sa Pilipinas ipahigayon agit kimaan sa iyang dakong pagtamod sa Pilipinas ng maong na kinusarang nasud ng Kristiyano dinhi sa Asia O gitang muslan niya kinihigayon na alang sa pag-awag sa ating nasun na magsangyaw sa tinuuhang kasuano ngagto sa mga nasun na libot sa Pilipinas. Ni ating higayon na miingon ang Santo Papa. Ang titula lamang ka mga kristyanos gitawag sa Diyos sa pagpakamatay tungod sa ilang pagtuong kristuhanon. Apan ang tanan gitawag sa Diyos sa pagpuyo nga subay sa ilang pagtuong Kristuhanon. Ugang ikaduhang Konsilyo Batikano nagpahimangno kanato na ang tanang gayod na binunyagan gitawag sa Diyos ngagto sa pagkasantos. Hugot ba ang atong pagtuong ini? Hugot ba ang atong pagtuong mabulahan ang tanang magpakamatay ng mga martir sama sa atong Lorenzo di Pilipinas? Palihog, mangluhod ang tanan o madungan kita sa pag-ampo sa ikasiyam ng adlaw. Amahang langit nun, nagapasalamat kami kami mo, tungod sa talagsaong himaya ng imong dihatag kang San Lorenzo di Pilipinas. 
Tungod sa iyang mga pagngaliya, hatagi kami sa grasya sa pagpuyo subay sa among pagtuong Kristuhanon. Luwasa kami sa tanahang katalagman sa lawas o kalag. Ug hatagi ang among nasod nga Pilipinhon sa panagdait nga among gipangandoy. Kini among gipangayo pinagi ni Jesu Kristo nga among Ginoo. Amen. Kitang tanan nagatu ako sa Dios ang amahan ang matagagahom sa tanan. Magbubuhat sa langit o sa yuta. Nagatu ako kan Jesu Kristo iyang buktong anak atong Ginoo. Gipanamkon siya sa galang sa Espiritu Santo. Natao gika ni Maria nga ulay, nagantot sa sugo ni Ponce Pilato, gilansang sa krus, namatay o gilubong. Miyadto siya sa mga nangamatay, sa ikatulong adlaw na banhaw siya. Misaka siya sa langit o nagalingkod sa tuo sa Diyos, amahan, makagagahon sa tanan. Mubalik siya ang paghukong sa mga buhi o sa mga minatay. Nagatuwa ko sa Espiritu Santo, sa Santos o Katoliko na simbahan, sa panag-ambit sa mga santos, sa kapasayluan sa mga sala, sa pagkabanaw sa lawas, o sa kinabing walay katapusan. Amahan namo nga na sa mga langit, pagdaibon ang imong alam, umabot ka namo ang imong dingharian, matuman ang imong pagbuot din sa yuta, maingon sa langit. Maghimaya ka Maria na puno ka sa grasya. Ang ginoo ang nakakanino. Bulahan ka sa mga babaeng tanan o bulahan sab ang bunga sa tiyan mo na si Jesus. Palihog ng hindi o bunga na pong awitin ang gosos.
which will be which will be followed by our traditional Paitranal Novena prayers. All together, Lord God of Peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times and over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness have we experienced? How much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? How many hopes have been buried? But our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say, Never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. Lord God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and you call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat us to turn our weapons of war into implements of peace. Our trepidation into confident trust and our quarreling into forgiveness. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last and may the words division, hatred, and war be banished from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother and our way of life will be always be that of shalom, peace, salaam, amen. Please be seated. During this Mass, we include in our intentions the following thanksgiving of Gladys Perel and family, the souls of Eusebio, Antonio, and Maria. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a blessed good evening to all. Thankfully, at last, we are now in the last night of our Novena Masses. Let us praise our Lord with joyful thanksgiving as we celebrate tonight's Holy Mass, expressing in our prayers His goodness and love throughout the years with San Lorenzo as our constant companion. Needless to say, being a mother disciple of Christ is not a walk in the park experience. In all those years, as a GPT, one of the spiritual sicknesses that we have to deal with constantly in our Christian life is hypocrisy. And our Lord has never ceased to remind us about this in our Gospel tonight. With Reverend Father Romeo Coronel, OSA, as our celebrant, let us begin the celebration by singing our entrance hymn, Please all rise.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be what we are. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. We are now on the ninth day of our preparation for our feast day of San Lorenzo Ruiz. Congratulations, Manchester. Oh, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm not Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, 
so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it. For fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the court of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds home, and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young. Your, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed day, who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please all stand. to see the plank lodged in your own. Hypocrite, 
Remove the plank from your own eye first, then you will see clearly enough to remove the speck of your brother's eye. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening, everyone. We are now on the ninth day of our novena in honor to our patron, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Magisug ko English, kinaanag na ba ko Bisaya na dito? Ang mga kong makaantas, baka mong Bisaya, kinaanag mong English. Maayaw ko basa ang inyong dito, no? Anong ko kong... Huwag na rin ang kaayot binasahan. <laughs> Dulo sa tao na nangyadto siya sa simbahan, una, nangutan na siya dito sa pari, uminan siya, Father, asa ganit na dapit ang iyon pagunong sa butika? Ngayon ang pari, hala, wala na ba ko katuod kung asa ang iyon o asa ang agianan? Ni naman tao, ah, sige, salamat, Padre. Isa katlaw ni Ana, nag-isa ang pari, niya siya ang pag-isa, niya siya, Panginaw ka mo ka na ko! Ubang ka mo ka na ko! Tuyo ka mo ka na ko! O, tulungan ko ka mo sa dalan o agianan, panunong sa luharian sa Diyos na bahong sa tanan, ang iyahang ginharian. Ni naman sa misa, nakatambong na ito itong isa katao na nangutan na kanina yun siya Padre isa ang mga pag-inong nga inyong ubanan o giyahan sa dalan padulong sa giharian sa Diyos ng taong satanan na huwag ito katuod sa dalan padulong sa buti ka basik masalaan ta sa dalan padulong sa giharian have you seen the way towards heaven kita ba mo katuod mo Not what is the way, but who is the way? Who is the way is our Lord Jesus Christ. When our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can enter into heaven except through me. So, to put it in the other, but they will say, Hurry and Zamahan, in Angilaman, you have Sana. Who, not what. But have you seen the who? Have you seen our Lord Jesus Christ? He is the light. He is the way. He is the light amidst of our darkness. He is the way that we must have to walk. Ang English ko gamay, gamay ra. However, we could not see the Lord even. We have eyes to see. Because sometimes we are blinded. And how could we see if our eyes were seemingly blind? And how could we lead others if we are blinded and others also are blinded? In today's gospel, we heard a metaphor a parable, an image or images. Jesus used images in speaking to his disciples. Can a blind man act as guide to a blind man? Nakita na ba mo buta nga ng uban, tulos buta? Ha? Wala pa no? Kasagaran ka ng kalimus na buta, nagipulog na na ang mata. No? Kaya kung buta pa rin sila, asa man pa dulo? Ha? Nagbong sila. No? Kung nagdari, madungan na ito. Will they both, not both, fall into a ditch? Dili ka ha sila mga muno o mga tumpawak nito sa kanal? O punos sila buta? Mura ang buta, naging iba nila na dili buta. Aroon siya makakita sa dalan, mugiya sa dalan. But how could we lead others who were blinded if we 
even ourselves are also blinded. And what are those things? Kusa man ang mga butang na nakapabutang o nakapabutang nato. In the second part of today's gospel, it says, When you look at the speck of your brother's eye, when you miss to the plant of your own, sometimes we can see the eyes of others. Sometimes we can easily pinpoint the darkness of others. Well, in fact, we are not able to get the plank of our own eye. We are able to find the light, the way that will open our own eyes. Isa o na po pagkuha sa puling sa uban, na wala man ta nakakuha sa truso na naa sa itong mata. If we will say that others are blinded without us knowing that we are more blinded than others. Mas labaw pa tayo siguro ang muta kay sa uban. Helen Keller have said that the only ways of being blind is having eyes but no vision. Ang pinakagrabi daw na buta na ang naay mata pero walang panlantaw o pananaw. Di takakita sa kahayan. Di takakita sa dalan. Sometimes, if not most of the times, we are blinded by our sinfulness sa ato ang darkness, sa ato ang sala, na lisod kita, makita sa ginoo. Nung nang makitaan po nato ang sala sa uban, di kita kakita sa ginoo na naa kanila. Nung saan na ito pagkaya, our Lord Jesus Christ is the light that will shed our darkness. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the way that will lead us to the right path. And our Lord Jesus Christ will show to each and every one of us as His followers that the only way towards heaven is by carrying the cross. On the cross, we are redeemed. Di ba? Sana siya? Di ba? Sa cross, kita naluwas. Di ba? Di ba? Sa cross, muna ang agianan padunong sa kaluwasan. We should not but live our lives with the cross of Jesus. Because through that cross and with that cross, we know that Jesus led us to heaven. Through that cross and with that cross, we know that we are loved by Jesus and He will lead us to the heart of God in heaven. We should be a no-no that we should disregard the cross of Jesus. But sometimes, it's too heavy. Bugat tayo ang cross ni Jesus. Bugat ng gani ang ating cross. You might sometimes, or sometimes you might consider others, yung mga pamilya na cross kay problema na di taganahan mo pa saan. Bugat. How much more the cross of Jesus? Sa pagka ang cross ni Jesus. Ang mga kung natanong mo na kung istorya dahil sa katao na nireklahan mo siya sa ginoo. Ginoo! Bugat! Kain niya akong cross. Taas! Kain niya akong cross. Gusto na kong kambuhan kini mga ang cross. Ngayon ang Diyos dali. Sulod din sa maong lawak. Pag sulod niya, ilang gibutang niya ang krus, ilang nga sinakitan niya dathan kayong mga kruses. Nga nilakaw siya, nilibo siya, namili siya, o pinakamubo, o pinakadaan ng krus. Sayang paglibot-libo siyang pagtuwi-tuwi, nga sinakitan, nga mubo kayong krus, isa kayo, kayo mubo, kayo ni, daan kayo ni. Nga niyong ang Diyos, huwag baka kabalong, 
ka ng inong ipunit ka rin ng krus. Mawala nga po yung krus na inong ibutang. It's the same cross that you carry. Siguro nakita niya na ang iyong rin ko sa ipas ang sa una. Pagkakita niya na po na yung mas bugat pa, na po na yung mas taas pa, na ito yung pilihan niya. Iyan nga po ang gawin ng cross. Sometimes mga klamot ha, bugat, taas at ang cross. Pero nga po yung mas taghan pa, na nagpasan o bugat o taas na krus o labaw sa tanan mas taas o bugat ang krus na Jesus apal mo na siya agianan padulong sa ating kaluwasan mo na siya agianan padulong siya hanggang harian may ingot kayo may ingot ang ating mahal na Santo Papa Pope Francis said When he walk without the cross, when he break up without the cross, when he preach Christ without the cross, we are not the disciples of the Lord. Ipadayin siya, we are cardinals, bishops, priests, and so others, but without the cross, we are not the disciples of the Lord. Without the cross of Jesus, we become, we could not be the students of the Lord. Binasa kong pagka isudyante at yung tunay si Jesus. Dali bang ka mula ba ni Jesus? Apan kung tunay na ito siya. A student is not above his teacher But every student, when he has finished his studies, will be on a par with his teacher. May sama kita niya. Maagli ang atong mga mata. Mahuhu kita nagiya sa matag-usa. Having eyes, not worst of being blind. Because our eyes could see the vision, could see the Lord, and could lead others to the right way. Si San Pablo, nang yun siya, nga ang kinabuhi, usang ka lumba. Erase, nang siya hindi ingin din hit. From the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, I do not run like a man who loses sight of the finish line. I do not fight. You know that while all the runners in the stadium take part in the race, an award goes to one man. In that case, run so as to win. Run and continue running with our eyes open in seeing the Lord and leading others towards God. Bili unta kita, buta. Kundi kita, manggigiyah, guides to one another in leading to heaven. Let us all stand for the prayers of the faithful. As the psalmist have said, the Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. With this confidence, let us now open our hearts and express with our lips our knees in supplication by praying, Father, listen to your people. Father, listen to your people. For our universal church, that her leaders, most especially Pope Francis, will live their lives in accordance with the gospel. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For the world leaders, 
that with the pressing global issues, conflicts, and tensions among nations, may they come to agree that the only solution to this problem is a, is a peaceful settlement in differences in the spirit of brotherly love. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For our leaders of our na national government entrusted with the protection of the common goal, that they may lead by example through living modestly and faithfully conduct their mandate as true servants of the people, especially the least in the society. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For our leaders of our local government, that they may view their mandate as a God-given purpose and thus must be performed in conformance with the principles of Christian stewardship. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For aging GKK servant leaders, that by God's grace and providence, may they be able to recruit and develop new and young leaders that will eventually succeed them in God's perfect time. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For us present here tonight, that as we labor to tell others about Jesus, that by God's grace, may we content constantly be reminded and strengthened that we have to live Jesus' life as well, which is as equally important. Let us pray. Father, listen to your people. For our personal intention, let us pray in silence. Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered here before you. May you grant them in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands from the praise and glory of his name. 
Father God, that the God of all His holy church, O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is so right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Romero, our Bishop, Joseph's auxiliary, and all the clergy. 
Remember also, brothers and sisters, who fell asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, and most his pals, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, some living cities, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may be made to the cool ears of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please do. At the Savior's command, and formed the divine teaching, we will to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace is grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and we it in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please me. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and that I, I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in this life, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing as we together pray the prayer on synodality. All together, we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated for some announcements. We shall now have a special collection for the completion of our sacristy at the back of this church. We are also requesting some generous donors to join us in completing the construction by sharing part of the blessing God has given us. Cash and material donations are accepted. Please get in touch with Sis Gina or Ruella or Doug Tyke Lewis. Our parish is helping couple living together for years in an activity dubbed as Libre Kasalan sa Parokya again. This will, this will be on December 24, 2022. For more information, please get in touch with our parish office. We are inviting those in grade 3 or 9 years old above who wish to receive their first communion. We are invited to join the pre-first communion catechesis here in the chapel on September 24 to begin at 12 noon. Have yourself listed with PSL Fine Balanza. Our next Mass here will be tomorrow, Saturday, September 10 at 8 o'clock in the morning. 
to celebrate our 26th GTK Fiesta under the pat patronage of San Lorenzo Ruiz. The sponsors and offerers are all the GTK servant leaders, liturgical ministers and movements, and organization within San Lorenzo Village. As we thank today's sponsors, the Pundokbana of St. James the Less, St. Paul, Apostle to the Gentiles, and San Lucas. Ministers are Mass Preparation and Service, Brother Catalino Lumanas and Jovito Bermudez Jr., Extraordinary Ministers of Communion, Brothers Rogelio Sitar and Ernesto Parol, Commentator Saints Sis Annalyn Bahal, Sami Sis Mary Luis Lusandra, and Lector Ms. Ruan May Baldoza. Please all stand for the blessing and dismissal. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters, for attending the Holy Mass tonight, our ninth day in Vina, preparation for our feast day of our patron saint, San Lorenzo Ruiz. At ang pagpapan ang natayusan. Viva San Lorenzo! Viva! Mas kusog pa din na ugma kay Pista na. Masamot kusog pa mga mita, pod mo. So, nang gabi ito usap yung tanan, advance, happy fiesta to all of you.